lot of things that we want to think about when a patient is potentially going to be on the ketogenic diet for many years. So like we said before, a lot of times children are only on it for a couple years and of course you definitely intensively watch them during those two years. But if a patient is going to start on childhood and continue into adulthood or if they start in adulthood and are going to be on it for you know long term, there are a lot of things that we have to watch for. So there's a lot of potential side effects of a ketogenic diet, you know, so it's very high fat, low carb, they're in a state of ketosis, um, and they're at risk for potential vitamin and nutrition, um, sorry, vitamin and mineral deficiencies. And so that's something that we make sure that they're taking supplements for, but we also monitor some of those with blood work. And, you know, if we find that it's lower than we would expect, then we, we provide supplementation for that. Um, we also think about bone health and bone metabolism and you know p p the potential of being at risk for development of osteopenia or osteoporosis particularly if we're not supplementing vitamin D and calcium um, a lot of times after a patient has been on the ketogenic diet for a certain number of years typically five years we may check a DEXA scan a bone scan to, to see the state of their bone health and make sure that there's not any issues there and then in terms of cardiovascular side effects, that's something that is still a little bit unknown. Um, so far, it looks like it is safe from a cardiovascular standpoint, but we don't have enough data yet on patients who've been on it for one, two, three decades. No doubt there have been patients who have been on it for that long, um, but we don't have large numbers of them to see, you know, what does what the cardiovascular profile look like? What is the risk of, you know, stroke and heart attack and, and other um, things like that? And so, you know, this is why it's really important for there to be, uh, I feel, an adult, um, you know, neurology provider and dietitian to be able to monitor for these things, who are sort of in tune with these particular risks and can monitor for them and can counsel on them as more data accrues.